I'm so happy to be back with you and to be back with a new way to use our Zentangles. I'm just like Zentangle crazy now. I think that the art itself is amazing, the, the variants of, of the Zentangle art that I've seen. And then I was like, well, I wanna make it my own. And there's certain types of artwork that I like to do. So let's go do one of those together. You're gonna be surprised. I talked about taking Zen tangles to another level and actually I almost said zen, zen doodles because the first one I did actually turned out to be a doodle instead of a zangle. These words are going to trip me up today. This is my original one that we did on our class on zen doodles and then we made our sweet Scandinavian folk art style birds with it and I wasn't done with it. I'm like I gotta do one more thing. I love printmaking. So I decided we're going to try to make a print out of these. My first attempt was this. I did do a sketch and I did do it and I was like, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, no, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. It did make some nice prints, but it wasn't exactly what I had in my mind. I didn't get upset. I just moved on to another phase. So I decided to use a flat piece. These come in different sizes you can buy them it's generally like a 30 pack but they're really nice and thick and bouncy they go in easier than a regular foam plate they're a little thicker and this is a zen doodle that the zen tangle i told you i was going to get mixed up the zen tangle that i intended to make a print of wasn't sure if it was going to work because it's quite a bit of work making sure they're all indented very deeply because everything on top is going to be black and everything that's recessed in is going to be white. So it's almost like a, a negative of a Zentangle, which was also intriguing to me. I like doing things that aren't normal. And guess what? Boom, look what happened. It was gorgeous. This is the first print I did and I didn't put enough pressure when I was doing my rubbing to connect the ink to the paper. And then I got yellow and it was like, yes, I love this. This is great. Just think, put a frame around this. Make smaller ones and use them for greeting cards, anything. You can share this with everyone once you've got it done and they dry nice. Now today I am using block ink printing, block printing ink. It's thick. Look at this. It's thick. I could probably hold it upside down. Probably shouldn't do that, but it's so thick. It's like tar and it dries with a little bit of a texture. If you don't have that, you can use your acrylic paint, your black acrylic paint. I'm going to show you how now. Get this out of the way, show you how to actually start your design. I am going to reprint this one for you, but I want to show you how to actually make your plate. That's what it's called. It looks like a plate and it is a printing plate. You're going to go back and forth you'll feel when it's in, you can use your finger. And the reason I'm using a black pencil and a colored pencil is it's softer and rounder. A regular pencil will actually scratch that up. Once you get your lines on it, I'm gonna put a thick one here. Remember, everything that pops up is going to be black. Everything that's pushed in, recessed, is going to be the color of the paper that you choose. So I want this right here to be black. Then I am going to look at this again to get an idea. Let's do some swirlies. Go up. Now that's good, but my advice is to go over it once or twice again. And this way. You can't hear it because it's so soft. You'll enjoy the actual texture of the foam when you're doing it and put some dots push them in if you want them the color of the paper and if you want them black go around so that you actually make almost like a moat around your piece of foam I'm trying to talk and concentrate remember zentangles takes concentration in talking when i'm doing it is a little different you can do doodles too and I'm gonna push this in you want a different uh, variety 
of thick and thin so that your print has interest around around and you can go geometric you can go organic you mix them up and i always said when i was doing my zen tangles a few dots makes a huge difference so let's do let's do a dot here a deep dot you fill in these negative spaces and it gives it an interesting look i think we need one more up here now see i'm going to show you doing one and if you feel it you can barely feel the indentation when you take your time to do two or three over you're going to improve your print all right this is how you do it if you're doing it on a plate if you have plates at home i suggest having two or three underneath it when you're doing it i'll show you the difference really quickly here because i want to get to the printmaking can you hear the scratchiness of it it's a different type but it works just as well you're going to have to go back and forth more times and when this starts getting a little dull give it a little sharp you do not want a point there you go and just to make sure i'm going over it again and sometimes after your first print you're going to rinse it off with soap and water and you might find places where you need to indent again swirlies this one you can even hardly see the pencil going on over it'll crunch and that's why you want two because otherwise it'll pop through if it pops through that's okay as well so that's of the plate if you have a giant plate and you want a square you can simply cut it out there's all kind of ways to do things if you just let your mind go for it so here i am showing you this and the straight lines are the easiest to do on this and then you can put your triangles in there, your diamond shapes, anything that you like. All right, Miss Lynn is gonna get to the printing part of it now. So you've got your design completely done. This took me a little while to do. And you can see some of it came up here and some of it came up here, you can hear it. Doesn't matter, it's gonna make a great print. All right, always put a piece of paper, any kind of paper underneath this when you're inking. You're going to put your ink, or if you have this, it'll work as well. You put it in a smooth, black on black isn't very good. You can see it's shiny though. A smooth layer because you want your roller to pick up an even amount of ink. This is why Miss Linda forgot to put her glove on, but I can wash my hands later. It's water soluble. This is a roller. These are the type that you can buy. You can buy things at the um, hardware store. This is the wrong kind because it has a fuzzy. What that will do is it'll stick the ink right in there, just like if you're painting a wall. You actually need something more like this. This is, yes, a pink roller, but it works. It would work just as well. So it just has to be a spongy or a smooth surface. Let's ink up. It's sticky because it's thick even layer and you don't want to push because all you're doing is pushing the ink off to the side you want to kind of move it around let's see do it now i got a little spot there one thing about prints is you get a different look every time now watch how i roll one direction and another direction i'm going off the edges because i do want a square edge on this and you can see these little guys i didn't get them so i'm going to go back before you put your paper on, make sure that you have inked properly. Now I can tell by the sound and the feel that I need a little more ink. That sounds like a musical instrument. All right, turn this. It's messy, that's why you need, oh, here's a dot right here that I need to get. And these, they look like little eyes when you do that. I was actually afraid of that, thinking all these would look like a bunch of eyeballs or something. I was wrong, thank goodness. All right. Now, before you actually do your print, you're going to move this piece of newspaper because it is soiled. You can fold it. 
I'm going to get another one because I have several. I'm going to do aha, one of those tablecloth tricks by pulling it. Put it down. This is too thick right here, I can see. So I'm going to take, well, let's see. Let's just do this. Right here, you can see I smudged it a little bit. It would look okay. But I'm going to dibble dabble it and see what happens. All right, messy fingers, water soluble. If you're using um, the acrylic paint, it is not. All right, I did some bright colors and I thought let's go with silver and then let's go with a really organic color. I might have to ink it up again. All right, look at your fingers because it will get on the paper. Put this down. You can use your, I would use your fingers. Remember the first time I did it, I didn't get it on there good enough. And you can see what happens if it's on your fingers. It will get. I am making sure I feel all the outsides. Going in a circular motion helps. You ready? Here we go. I know I've done printmaking before, but never with Zentangles. Oh, nice. With the silver, put a black frame over that. You can see where I wiped it off a little bit. The ink makes a big difference. I'm going to ink this guy up again. And don't need to put a ton on this time. I don't want, it's not really a ghost print because I'm putting more ink on it. But I did want to try an organic color. All right. Take this. Gently lay it down. I think I'm gonna like this because this is a extremely cool color of paper, number one. It's a little thicker. It's not quite as thick as a tag board. They do make brayers that push things down and then there's the printing press, which would be amazing to have. But we have what we have in our homes, we have what we have in our brains and in our hands, and then we have spectacular outcomes. This is all right. This is just a little bit of extra ink. When you do printmaking, you always have that. You can see the paper was textured as well. That I didn't expect. So I'm going to flip this over so I don't soil anything else. And I'm going to show you one more time. One, two, done today. Organic and a little industrial. And then we have the other ones that you saw. Get creative. Try it. You're going to need to do it more than once. You can use acrylic paint. You can make your own brushes, your own rollers. So today we did our Zentangle prints. Hopefully I can think of something new to do with Zentangles next time. I'll see you then. So now you all know that Miss Linda likes to mix it up. We made Zentangle birds, we've made Zentangle patterns, now we've done Zentangle printmaking. And I, I do really love printmaking. There are so many ways to do it. And on my website, we have an entire module on printmaking. So check it out, artwithmisslinda.com, and I will see you again.